Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The current Warzone meta here in Season 4 has evolved a little bit with the new seasonal update. Obviously, we saw some new weapons added in. We got various different weapon buffs and nerfs. So today, I wanted to go through and break down the new top 10 best meta loadouts you want to be running right now so real quick perks and equipment going to be the same on every single loadout as always i'm still running smokes for my lethal it's either knives or it's semtexes if you're playing resurgence knives for the insta finishes obviously clutch semtexes never a bad choice c4s are actually really good as of late too so that wouldn't be a bad option either then for perks as always running mountaineer double time tempered and flex no real changes there season over season like I said, that's the same on every single class setup or every single loadout for the remainder of the video. So we can just focus on weapons for all of it. This first loadout is actually one that I ran a ton of last season. And while yes, each of these weapons were slightly nerfed, they're still very good. The BP-50 is a main rifle. Then the Wasp-9 is a secondary. You got TTK, you got movement all covered, whether you're fighting close range, mid range, long range. This is a loadout that's kind of doing it all and it's doing it in a very versatile way. BP-50 is one of the more aggressive, versatile rifles. Even after the mobility nerf, I'm running Cassis break here just to make things nice and easy with that recoil pattern it's basically straight vertical we got the dr6 hand stop speeding things up still keeping it aggressive even post nerf there uh lore 9 heavy barrel extending out that range velocity and control 45 running cinemag then also the moat 40 stock protecting your castle giving you better control giving you better mobility across the board so a lot of benefits from that both in game and out of game if you happen to live near in and or around a castle uh so yeah bp50 across the board still feeling really really good and then the wasp nine it caught some range nerfs but it's got a ridiculous range for a uh, an smg to begin with so while it is nerfed it's still really good by comparison here so zem 35 compensator you're gonna see in a lot of my subs here today better control for very minimal cons with ads and bullet velocity which is ideal for a close range build dr6 hand stop here as well i go for high grin i try and run this on a lot of my subs as well extending out that range uh for that faster ttk and that effective damage range that's very clutch 17 meters is still so good for an s SMG, better velocity on there too. 50 run next cinemag works just fine at this uh, fire rate. And then I go for the reflector sight. Not a huge fan of the irons here. Use whatever optic you're the most comfortable with. If you don't like the reflector, a night or a slate, whatever it might be, those are all personal preference, but I'd recommend an optic just for accuracy. Next up, sort of a similar case again. Weapons that were really good last season that caught some nerfs, but for the most part, they're still very good if you want to keep using them. The DG58 LMG, then also the Striker 9 SMG. It got some close range nerfs. It's not going to be as good as it was before but it's still a top tier smg across the board and it's so snappy and aggressive this build's going to be just like it was last season since obviously the damage was nerfed there's not much you can do to change that or i guess recover from that if you will uh zem 35 compensator dr6 hand stop here i go for the long barrel in this case better range better velocity 13 meters for that effective damage range is still very good 50 round x cinemag and then also the light stock on here just for some better mobility to keep things snappy and uh, just aggressive overall then the dg what you do want to change here is make sure you're getting good velocity because they nerfed that pretty severely with the updates and uh without that good velocity this gun is not as fun to use i will say that so spirit fire suppressor obviously helps out that velocity alongside the range and control woody long barrel helps out with range velocity control and stability so that's all nice there Bruin heavy support just to keep things easy and accurate horizontal control firing aim stability idle sway all clutch there high grain rounds i was previously using uh, like a stock for better control or whatever uh all in on high grain here we want that better velocity up to 1100 that's really really good so getting that number up there is going to be really efficient for any mid to long range fights with that hit scan range for sure and then lastly glassless optic makes this thing an absolute laser beam it's so insanely accurate even post nerf uh that wasn't changed so while it's going to be a little bit worse damage wise and velocity wise it's still going to be a laser beam and that is super important at the end of the day next up uh this this honestly might be my new favorite loadout car 98k feeling so fun to run around and one shot snipe with and pair this with the mcw conversion kit this thing fries up close best sniper support in the game without a doubt as far as this car setup goes just like what we talked about the other day i have made one change though i'm still running no stock for the snappier ads over a sling i like that feeling a whole lot more high grain rounds to get that velocity up towards 1000 there sonic suppressor for better velocity as well a little bit better range we do have an 85 meter one shot range which is really generous all things considered the 
uh, 762 long barrel. I'm still not pronouncing that first part. You guys will never hear me say that word in my life because I don't know what that word is. Uh, and then lastly, there actually is like this OG car 98K optic here. It's at the very, very end. It's the range color V3.4. And I apparently just added it to my favorites by clicking triangle instead of going into the firing range here. But you can see it's that classic sort of car iron sight. I like the look of that one a lot. So very clean there. And obviously such a fun sniper to run around with. MCW conversion kit still frying here. Was not updated really. The Scratch 20 suppressor is nice. Better firing aim stability. Minimal ADS con, a whole 1%. Oh no. Uh, but it still has easy control, really good range. Good velo, I guess, for a uh, sniper support option here. DR6 hand stop, keeping it snappy, keeping it aggressive. The 40 round extended mag, of course, with the aftermarket part. And then just the ELO site here, the MK3 reflector yet again. Such a great sniper support choice and so fun to pair with that car. Hey everyone, quick little announcement. Gamer Advantage is currently running a Memorial Day sale from now all the way through May 30. First, and with this, everything on the site is going to be discounted by 25% off, which is already a crazy good deal. But I got an even better one for you Code Immortal actually stacks on top of that to get you 35% off everything on the site. So that is the absolute best discount you can get on anything from Gamer Advantage. Of course, you guys see me rocking my Horizon frames every single day. I love these things, I swear by them. And alongside all the other Gamer Advantage products, they got plenty of different frame options. They do prescription or regular lenses, so they got everyone covered. If you want to pick up a pair for yourself maybe a friend a loved one whatever the case may be throw in code immortal take advantage of that increased discount from now all the way through the 31st and the link for that will be down in the description below if you're interested now another sniper setup here in case you want to mix things up we've got the moors which is one shot capable at any range of course and i paired this with the buffed chimera this was already a fantastic sniper support option before season four and well, now it's even better. So you love to see that. As far as the more setup goes here, this, like I said, can one shot at any range because we are using the anti-material slug rounds on here. I also go for the ton heavy barrel. 792 velocity is not crazy, but the charge barrel, while you'll get crazy velocity out of it, just doesn't have that same level of consistency, even when it's fully charged. So ton heavy is what I'm rolling with. That velo is a downside, but you can work with it regardless. And like on rebirth and whatnot, it'll work just fine. A resurgence in general, go for the Razor Hawk laser sight, snappier ADS to keep things aggressive. Super light 90 stocks going to keep things aggressive. And then just behind the face cam here, I do also have the quick bolt on there so I can get my shots off faster back to back to back so still a very solid sniper here in season four and then pairing this with the buffed chimera here we're going for the sonic suppressor helps out that range and velo keeping that fast ttk almost at the 30 meters that's great for sniper support we've got the vorpal barrel helping out with range velocity and a tad bit of movement which is an interesting like two for one or three and one there we got the bw4 hand stop better strafe general movement speed ads sprint to fire keeps it really aggressive 45 round extended mag works fine with this fire rate and then also the elo sight yet again if you can't tell i am a fan of the mk3 reflector sight now next up another phenomenal loadout across the board if you're looking for pure ttk movement this has you covered Holger 26 LMG for our mid to long range, one of the best TTKs in the game. We also have the Super E46, one of our other new weapons here for season four for the close range, really competitive with the other subs, crazy good movement speed. I love the feel of this thing, honestly. I've changed up the build a little bit from the one that we talked about the other day. Still running Zem 35 Compensator on here as opposed to like the Phantom Rear Grip, which gives you crazy sprint to fire. That's a good choice too. Just a matter of preference, really. DR6 hand stop, high grain rounds on here instead of a barrel. We are getting better range, better uh, a velocity out of that too so just keeping the versatility up uh, with that 40 round extended mag still and then the rescue nine stock just for some better movement across the board and a little bit of better control too so this thing is a great feeling smg and really fun to run around with and then the holger setup not too much is changing here still running spirit fire suppressor range velocity and control factory barrel better range control and velocity on that as well ruin heavy support for better control across the board horizontal there firing aim stability and whatnot 2.5 times eagle eye works great for the mid to long range then i like the ascent lord stock on here better control across the board as well uh making this thing really easy to use 938 velo is okay if you wanted to go for high grain or something you'd probably want to drop the stock for that and that's viable for sure you're just not going to have as much of a laser beam but this thing overall is pretty easy to use and it's ttk sort of speaks for itself and by the way as we are running through all the setups here today if you're new to the channel or you simply have not subscribed yet 
Let's change that. Every single day, I got you covered with news, patch notes, meta breakdowns, everything going on in COD is right here. So feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications. And if you enjoy this video or if you find it helpful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. It is always really appreciated. Our next pairing here features the buffed MTZ556 and the buffed FJX Horus, both of which have crazy good TTKs, are extremely aggressive and very easy to use. MTZ was already a top tier rifle before this update. It is pushing for that number one spot right now, if I'm being honest honest with you spirit fire suppressor drifter heavy long barrel range velocity control a ton of range mind you a 54 meter ex uh, effective damage range that's so good uh we also have the Bruin heavy support per usual no surprises there 50 run cinemag which honestly isn't all that much with this fire rate but it works uh then choreo 2.5 times eagle eye no real changes there the horus setup here we haven't talked about this one that much but the buff makes this thing crazy crazy good zem 35 compensator dr6 hand stop i do go for the ruse 90 light barrel i'm really torn between running this or the heavy barrel for the better control there is some noticeable recoil especially on iron sights with this build but i like speeding it up as much as i can because the movement goes crazy here so kind of pick your poison i'd recommend testing both and seeing uh which one you like more 40 around x cinemag i keep getting asked about the 60 it's coming with the uh aftermarket parts we'll cover that whenever that drops in season it's gonna be very good uh then lastly i go for the ripper light stock better movement across the board as well uh, i am also a little torn as to whether or not i should run an optic on this i like nidar a lot and i'd probably drop maybe the stock or dr6 for that uh so if you really want that that's probably how i'd approach that but i like this build as well it's very fast and it kills super quick Loadout number six, we got the Holger 556, which is also buffed, and then the base striker, which is making a push for that number one SMG. Now that the Wasp 9 and the Striker 9 were both nerfed, obviously. Uh, Holger's setup is very straightforward. Spirit Fire Suppressor. I go for the angled underbarrel in this case. This gun is so easy to use. You don't have to slow it down more by using Bruin Heavy, and you're still getting better idle sway and better horizontal control out of this. So that's nice. Prow six match barrel, better range velocity control, better pizza Papa John's in there as well. 40 round Xenomag is the only drawback here. It's not a ton of ammo. You're going to have to reload a lot, but you're going to be getting a lot of kills. So you'll have time to reload because everyone's going to be spectating instead of pushing you. Uh, glassless optic on here too. 2.5 times would work well. Slate, NIDAR, other optics that you uh, are comfortable with. Feel free to run those here too. Overall though, yeah, it got buffed. So it's even better than it was before when it was already very good last time we talked about it. Striker setup here. Keep in mind, this is the base striker, not the striker nine. I kind of like the Requiter suppressor. It's going to give you better firing game stability and a tad bit better ADS speed. It keeps you off the map. So that's always fun. Uh, Recon long barrel here. Better range, better velocity. 15 meter damage range is really solid for the subs. Uh, we got the R6 hand stop for better movement. 60 round Xenomag. And then also the light stock on here. I messed around with the Recon series stock too. I kind of like the feel of this. It's very late laser beam-esque but it does slow you down some so mobility go for light stock control go for recon series there's no wrong answer really good smg across the board also works pretty well for sniper support too now we do have another sniper setup i want to talk about or sniper loadout the cat obviously is still uh one of the best sniper options in the game and it's the best infinite one shot range sniper much better than the moors because their velocity here is great uh upwards of 940 right now with the current setup that we got on here so nightfall suppressor i also go for the zang barrel that's going to be another 10 percent then high velocity the ammo is going to increase that by 20 percent so 941 is going to be very solid for infinite one shot there won't be a ton of bullet lead in the vast majority of fights you're going to get into there i also go for the tack pad stock that helps out with the ads speed then the quick bolt on here again just so i can get those shots off faster back to back to back and get those easy cleanups or get those secondary shots if i'm not one shot headshotting and i actually pair that with the stb 556 this is typically uh, like a mid to long range build but this thing is so aggressive for a rifle it's advanced stat that's a 116 sprint to fire for a rifle with this build is unheard of so that's so good and it's got great range uh decent velocity as well and a really fast ttk in the mid-range spirit fire suppressor on here rear guard barrel for better uh velocity a little bit better range on there too ruin heavy support you could also drop this for like dr6 if you wanted to to keep things still snappy and aggressive that wouldn't be a bad idea 42 round Xenomag, not a ton of ammo. Only drawback of this thing too, in my opinion. Then the 2.5 times Eagle Eye. You could also run Glassless, NIDAR, whatever the case may be here. Uh, whatever floats your boat for sniper support. Going to be a good choice there if you're comfortable with it. But yeah, kind of an underrated slept on sniper support option. Next up, we got one of my more like fun mess around with loadouts here, but two very effective weapons. It's the same Wasp 9 setup that we already covered earlier on in the video. So no need to run through that again. But I paired this with the MCW 6.8, one of the better marksman rifles from a semi-auto standpoint. Phenomenal 
phenomenal TTK, great velocity. You could even go crazier on the velocity too from the hit scan builds that we've talked about before. But here I got the Spirit Fire Suppressor up to 999 velocity with that. We also got better range and control out of that too, per usual. Ruin Heavy is super efficient on semi-auto guns because the firing aim stability and idle sway benefits. So that's kind of a no-brainer here too. The 60 round drum being a thing as opposed to 15, 20, 25 that other marksmen uh, offer is why I prefer this over all the other marksmen. Being able to spam and not have to worry about ammo is so so clutch we also got the eagle eye optic on there and then i go for the assault stock just for some better control when i am spamming if you want to get crazy you could drop that throw on the uh the spire point rounds because they still give you 49 percent increase to velocity i don't know why but take advantage of it because it's still broken and it's going to give you a crazy hit scan range ton of fun to use this thing and then lastly here again we've got the base striker as the secondary so no need to run through that but i pair this with the uh, attack eradicator lmg and i really like this because it's such an easy lmg to use and we got an iron inside build here so we can really maximize everything that we're going for so uh initially spirit fire suppressor no changes there we got the conquer 70 long barrel for better uh range better velocity we're up over 1100 so that's really nice 43 meter effective damage range with that brewing heavy support the core stock on here for better control and then if you want to go all in on just a super super accurate uh build you could go for the combat rear grip that's going to be nice and easy for control or you could kind of go crazy and put on uh high grain rounds on this thing and get up to a 13 100 velocity with almost a 50 meter effective damage range and that for an iron side build just seems unnecessary and mean to the enemies because it's so effective right and frankly it's a ton of fun and i really like the feel of this thing too but that being said those are the 10 best meta loadouts you want to be running in warzone right now that's going to wrap things up if you enjoyed the video do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out to guarantee you're always up to date with everything going on in cod but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time Take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you later. Peace out.